Hey guys, here's Anthony. Hope everything is going well in Shelly Go Life. Everybody is forked over. So, quick update um, because you know we're here. We are in a new era. We're in Shelly. So I wanted to give a quick update on terms of the setup and a couple of things that I learned along the way, uh, just to share. Hopefully, it's useful. Um, so our stake is up, by the way, CNT. Um, Feel free to pledge, it will be fun. Uh, at the moment we're not doing too well, uh, but that's not, nothing to do with the pledge because um, the whole Daedalus is a little bit of a mess because we have stakers here at 10K, we have stakers here at 0K pledge. So don't worry about the numbers too much um, because they don't mean anything yet, right? Uh, nobody's producing any blocks, um, so it's kind of a mess uh, and I've seen this one going up and down multiple times. So don't worry about that first of all. Uh, so in order to get this, you need to download the new mainnet wallet, right? So 2.0 is the latest one that includes uh, all the cool functionality for, for staking. And what you'll see first is when you restore one of your wallets, you'll get a big red mark. Um, and it says Byron and then you have to press a button to actually um, convert it into a, a Shelly wallet. So in order to do that, you need a Shelly wallet, right? So um, making a Shelly wallet, you know, just press add wallet, create, put in a name and by default it's going to be a Shelly wallet, right? It's the new type of wallet. Uh, you can still restore your old ones. Once you do that, you'll get it, uh, you'll get it in the system. It asks you to transfer it then to a Shelly wallet. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, quick look at the setup as well, might as well, uh, where are we, that's pretty, here we go. So this is my initial setup. So in testnet I had two servers set up across uh, two different sides of the world, so we had a west and an east, uh, one used, used Amazon uh, EC2, another one used Google Cloud, um, both were medium sized ones um, so based on that couple of days testing i managed to get a couple of blocks not many um, so what i decided is beef up the server a little bit further so this is a four core um, 16 gig uh, setup so even though the specs say that you need a a you know two core four gigabytes should be enough uh, what i noticed in testnet a lot is when I started using the topology updater, so that's a script that actually gets you all the different nodes and to connect each other into a nice mesh network. Um, but I saw it was a lot of issues in terms of uh, nodes being killed, right? Uh, on top of that, the CPU power was, um, you know, pretty dramatic. Here, this one seems to be running fine, already processed uh, 250 plus transactions since, since starting. Uh, it's now up for 15 hours, so um, happy with that. Um, I, I set it up, you know, well in advance, so I didn't have to deal with the, the the problem that a lot of pools have now, where it's too slow, it doesn't update. So we're we're all in in sync. So just to check if you want to check if you're in sync or not as well, it's very important. Uh, so of course the epoch and the slot that you want to look at. So you can go to your um, explorer. So that's the explorer mainnet. So I'm opening it up here. Right. And what you look at is the latest epoch, you click on that one and you can see what's being produced, right? So you see the clock time here and then if we wait a couple of seconds, you see this one from 4 or 8 turning into a 4 or 9. So, or maybe not. Um, but anyway, at the moment it's still, it's still centralized, right? So the decentralization hasn't happened. So you can see we're now on 4 or 9. So, um, 409 if I go now to my nodes then you should see a 409 coming in I'm oh, not even close 409 to we're already at 2410 right, so my nodes are a little bit quicker than um, than the explorer which is a good thing right um, so this is using the topology explorer uh, I changed my ports around as well um, but you see uh, these two have 15 pairs and then I added in a third 
nodes. Now, of, of course, they say you only need two nodes. Uh, I'm stubborn, I added in three. Um, and my third node is a bit different as it connects to different um, connections. So just to you know, spread, spread the, the love. Not sure if it, if it makes a difference, but what I want to make sure as well is that if I get any blocks minted, that you know, I get to lead them and, and that they are gonna be confirmed to, me, to our pool, right? So that's important um, that you don't miss potential blocks because your relay is too small, your, your network to verify is too small, right? So also in this particular um, model, I also increased the, um, the write speed of the hard risk, right? So the, the, the disk write and disk read speed. So when I selected the EC2, I went for the IO SSD model, and you can actually update the performance on that as well. Again, these are little tweaks. I'm not sure they're gonna pan out or not, but for now, uh, I'm happy with this setup. Um, other couple things that you wanna check. Um, oh yeah, one cool one is, there is a new script that I guided on the on the community. Let me see if I can find it quickly. Um, the Coin Cashew um, tutorial has information on it, which is very awesome. He did a very awesome job in this tutorial. By the way, it's a lot clearer than any uh, tutorials that I've seen. Of course, we don't have the CN Tools functionality, even though he's he's working on that as well with with Growpool. Um, so you know, shout shout out to these guys because they. They're working their asses off. Um, where's my, uh, there it is. So yeah, Raymond, Raymond Mata from Growpool, great job. And then of course, Coin Cashew, you know, awesome to, to work with these guys. Um, but anyway, if you look at the, um, this part of the tutorial, it allows you to um, create payment keys using the mnemonic method. Now, this is, pretty awesome uh, because basically what it means is you create a the payments and stake key pair on your server but then you also recover it on your Daedalus so as a result um, you see this pledge rewards wallet that I have this is actually pledged to the pool right so you can see it as well as part of the um, delegation so it's pledged to the pool um, and we can see it there. So and we can see here, this is the pledge, right? 50K. Um, so it actually allows you to have a bit of, instead of worrying about, oh, it's on the server, what, uh, how am I doing? You can actually keep track of it uh, right from there, right? So that's a nice little feature. Now how to do that, um, again, I did it this morning, almost had a heart attack because I couldn't find them uh, when I was recovering because I did it with a 15 word instead of 24 word. Uh, but basically, you add your wallet. So I'm gonna say demo wallet. I'll keep the screen recording on because again, I'm gonna remove this wallet. Uh, give it a quick password. Oh, it needs to be longer, fine. Okay, so I'm just creating this one. Okay, confirm now we can see my screen. Everybody can see my screen. Uh, but again, demo wallet, nothing you can do with this. Wow. Um, so, as you can see, we have those 10 words. I'm just gonna take a quick picture and I'll show you how to uh, actually create keys. A few moments later. I do understand, I understand. Okay, so here's my little demo wallet. Right? So now what I can do is a few moments later. Good to go. So basically the 24 letter word or the 24 words, now we can actually generate a uh, stake and payment key and all the other necessities um, using this tool. So. What I'll do is I'll open up the tutorial so you can go, go along with it. There you go. Right, so we already have the script, basically copy paste. We already have this, basically copy paste. Now let's extract it. So here to 
extract your keys, update with the memory face. So let's do that. The note bot. Plus and mouse will open. Yeah. Okay. Copy paste this thing, and now he says 15 words, but we're gonna we can use uh, 24 words. All right. So we go illness west. So, it's generated this address, right? They need to be the same. Now let's have a quick look at our wallet as well. Uh, this is our demo wallet. So, um, what we can do now is we can actually verify it um, by sending something to it. So the files that are Extracted, right? Um, you can see these are the all the files that are generated. So if I want to check the wallet, let me just copy paste the wallet checking. There you go. So I'm just doing it under this folder. So we can see it's empty, right? But it's, it is generated. Uh, so now what I want to do is I want to send some monies to this wallet address. Oh, got payment address. There we go. So I'm going to send something, so I'll send. Okay. So let me send five ADA. That's right and do I still remember the password it's always a mystery it's probably wrong yeah. there we go okay so from one of my wallets I'm sending to this demo wallet on the server right so let's see if it gets completed yet no. so it says transaction confirmed right so now if I do the same query, there we go. Here's the five ADA that I just sent. Um, and this, of course, can be used to create the rest of your, your staking keys, all the other stuff that you need to do. Yeah. Um, but in the meantime, it should also appear on the demo wallet. Now, of course, this isn't, isn't synced yet, so it's going to take a while for it to be synced. Uh, hopefully by the end of the video we'll see it, um, mm -hmm. but we should see it by the end of the video at, you know, 5 ADA, right? Uh, so this is the same concept that we've done, and here, of course, we pledged a bit more, generated it, and then recovered it so we can see it on, on both sides, right? But this is all cool stuff, um, but again, it's, uh, it's a bit tricky, it's, it's not a supported function, I, I would imagine, so it's something to, um, to keep, keep an eye on. Uh, anything else that is cool? Well, uh, of course, there's a lot of cool scripts that you can look at. Um, so one of the scripts that I use quite often, and go back, is my check states, just to see how it's doing, right? So at the moment we can see, uh, you know, the decentralization parameters. Let's cancel that one. Is set to one, meaning it's still centralized, right? When we get to zero, it's decentralized. So during testnet, it was mostly at 0 0.5, so 50% was done by stake pools and the other 50% was done by Cardano Foundation itself. Um, other things you can look at, uh, so these numbers, they have impact later on, on staking and, and how uh, staking is being selected. Uh, again, I don't know the science behind it, but it's, it looks very interesting. Um, yeah, anything else? Um, yeah, for now it's just a matter of waiting game and it's gonna be a 
funny. Uh, we'll see how the, the Binance reacts as well. Although, you know, again, this is not a uh, currency if you want to make a quick buck. This is really a currency if you want to be part of a new digital payment system, right? Uh, or a payment network, financial network. Uh, so this is a lot, a much bigger than, you know, traders looking at their peaks and their, their troughs and that kind of crap, uh, you know. So this is very cool. Um, the coming months are gonna be cool because of the, the ability that this brings to the table, right? So we see Ethereum, they're coming up with their stake pool or their staking system next week, apparently. Uh, but then they won't be ready until next year or even the year after. Um, so by the time that, that Ethereum has brought in staking, hopefully um, Cardano has already gained back a, a good market share. And of course, this technology that they're using comparing to a lot of the other um, other technologies around there. This technology is also being used in other financial systems, right? Other banks are using Haskell for their payment function, which allows for adoption, right? And that's what we want to see, that, that financial institutions actually start using uh, this layer, this, this framework for, for their transactions. So all in all, very good stuff. Um, so yeah, I think this is about it. I have nothing else to say, uh, except for, again, CoinCash, great. Um, Great setup, great site. Um, also, don't forget CNT. Could really be fun to see people staking and, and believing. Um, and overall, you know, good luck. And, and if you have any questions, comments, you know, the Telegram groups are really good as well. But feel free to comment on the video as well. All right, thanks, guys.